Okay, so this is a tutorial for a whole bunch of different things that all involve Google Forms. So I saw a video where a teacher was taking responses from a Google Form and inserting them into Google Slides and updating it for real time. And she was saying that it would be great for exit tickets or temperature checks or whatever. So I thought it would be great for a parking lot because you know kids always have questions in the middle of your lesson. So I've already pre um, made this parking lot template and but I wanted to go over and show you the actual template because this was making me totally crazy because I wanted to make it look cute and I couldn't figure it out. So the first thing that you want to do if you click this down arrow, you can actually hide this column. And then the next thing I did is that I'm going to insert a row above and then I'm going to put some cute pictures in there. So I actually pre-made these on textgiraffe.com, which I'm obsessed with. So you want to do image incel. I made a different tutorial on this, but I'm doing it again because it was making me crazy and because it kept reverting and I couldn't figure out why. But I think it's because it's a form and it's live. Okay, so I'm going to insert the name here. And I am going to insert another image here. I'm sure there's a faster way to do all this. Okay, so then I'm going to make them in the middle and I'm going to make it to where there's a cute little border. You can also change um, the color right here. Um, you can also change how wide it is. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze this row. Well, I'm going to resize it too, because I want it bigger. And then, okay, so this is the important part. You can leave this part here, of course. Oh, and also you can easily go back in and change you know, the fill colors to whatever you want them to be. And you can use that cute little eye, the little colors a thing to make exact um, colors. Now, what I, what I kept turning into is when I went and filled out the form, every time it would revert, if I just did pictures here, instead of the actual titles that are on the parking lot template, it would just revert back to the words and take away my cute pictures. So the workaround for that is then you can go back and hide this row. And so now the row is hidden, you can't see it. And if you go in um, and this will all still be here. And honestly, I would probably make this a little bit bigger and I would also freeze this row. Now let's talk about how to insert it into Google Slides. So I have my parking lot over here. And you need to, it's like a finite number. So you can't just have it going forever, but I'm going to make it pretty small. So I'm going to say that I have like five. I'm just going to control C. I'm going to control V over here. Now, this is important. You want it to be linked so that you can update it for real time. Oh, well, this is good to know. The photos will not stay. But that's okay. You can also, you could just make it to where kids could see it. And maybe I wouldn't choose this background either. But you're going to get an idea of what I'm doing. So now when I go and I fill this out and I put my name, we'll just use my name. My question, why is class so boring today? Because, you know, I actually have kids ask me this in the chat. So when they hit submit... I'll do another one. I'll use, uh, there's a really hilarious follow um, on, well, she's on everything. 
And she uses the name Tristan as like her student name that Tristan, why are you doing that kind of thing? Um, can I go to the bathroom? Cause they asked me this too, kids at home. I'm like, um, you don't, you don't really have to ask, but thank you for asking. So now when I go back to my Google slides, all I have to do is hit this little update button. And then those responses are just going to magically appear. Now you can't see them because I made the parking lot here. Let's change the background and then you can see it. Color will make it gray. There it is. So now it'll say both of those things that I just put in, you know, I put it in the form and then um, you could keep updating it, you know, or wait till the end or whatever. And so just one thing to be aware of, because I didn't know until right the second, the image will not um, transfer. So that's.